Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Come in. Come in. What can I do for you? Professor Donald, are you giving your advanced geology course again next semester? Yes, I am applying on it. I wonder if I could enroll in it. I know it is a graduate course and I'm a junior, but... Aren't you a bit young? I have a lot of qualified seniors to take the course and they usually have a hard time keeping up. I know, but geology of the American West is my major interest and I have done a large reading in the field. Well, if you think you are ready, I'll let you enroll. Oh, thanks, Professor Donald. This is really very nice of you. May I help you? I can't find the book I want. Why don't you try looking at the database? I checked it already. Do we have it available? It wasn't there. I guess it is lost. Will you be getting another copy? Yes, we will. Could you reserve a copy for me? I can do that. That's great. Thanks a lot. Hey Jack, how were your classes this semester? They were not too bad. I really liked my poli sci class. Would you consider it your favorite class? I don't know if I would call it my favorite, but it ranks up there. What class was your favorite then? I took a business communication class last year and it was terrific. I never took that yet. If that was your favorite, I think I will check it out. Our philosophy teacher is very humorous. I usually have the wrong notion that he's very serious. No, not at all. The examples he gives are very interesting. No wonder when I pass your room, I always hear your laughter. Hi, Doris. You look a little bit down. What's the matter? Well, I'm leaving Japan and I'm going back to London, tomorrow. Really? Yeah. How do you feel about that? Well, I do feel quite down because I am going to miss Japan after being here for nine months, in Japan. I am going to miss it so much, cause I've had a great time here. Damn. So what are you going to miss about Japan? Oh, I am going to miss the people, the food, the nightlife. Especially the nightlife. What especially about the nightlife are you going to miss? Well, I really like dancing. And I enjoy going out to nightclubs and to restaurants and eating Japanese food also and I'm really going to miss that because it's very different to London. How are the clubs different in Japan than in London? Well, here there are many different clubs you can get into, for free, you don't have to pay, some of them. In London it's really expensive for drinks and an entry fee. Excuse me, I need your assistance. Sure, what's up? I have no idea where my class is. Tell me which building it's in. My class is in the C building. I know where the C building is. Do you mind telling me where it is? Of course. Which room number is it? Number 261. I actually have a class right around there. Can you please show me? I can do that.
Let's program your courses. Since you have had English literature, you should take American literature and American prose and fiction. You transcript indicate that your English background is strong, so I don't think you have any problem with it. How many credits for each course? 3. You also should take 2-3 credit course in education department. Thank you, sir. I'm sure I will. What courses did you major in? I took more than 10 subjects including theoretical economics, political economics, western economics, statistics and so on. In addition to the courses of my major, I took minor courses too. What courses did you minor in? I took computer science and English courses as my minor subjects. Helen, you must be excited at going to America to study. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it for ages. What do your classmates think of it? They give me a lot of congratulations. How long will you study there? Oh, maybe three years. I will study and get the master degree first. Then I will decide whether I will stay there or come back. Which university will you go to? Chicago University. My major is economics. Good luck. Thank you. What do you need? I would like to check out a book. I'm going to need your library card. I don't have a library card. Why don't you apply for one right now? Sure, that would be great. Please fill out this application. Okay, here you go. Now, sign your name on the back of the card. Here you go. Here's your library card. Thanks. Now I'd like to check out this book. Johnny, you did badly on the test. I think you haven't been studying enough. Am I right? Yes, Ms. Jones. Well, you'd better start studying harder if you want to pass this class. Excuse me, can you suggest a good book for me to read? Yes, they are all on the shelf. Do you have an English-Chinese dictionary? Yes, here you are. Hello everyone, and welcome to our CPR for Beginners course. First of all, does anyone know what CPR stands for? Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. That's right. We apply CPR in the case of cardiac arrest or pulmonary arrest. What does that mean? Well, basically if your heart stops pumping blood, or your lungs stop pumping air, then we need to get them going again. That's when we have to apply this procedure. Let's begin. I need a volunteer. Me. Me. All right. Come here and lay flat on your back. Let's suppose this young woman has stopped breathing. We must lift the person's chin so that we clear a pathway for air to get into the lungs. Then we place our mouth over the other person's mouth and blow air two or three times, like this. Wait, what are you doing? I'm a married woman. You can't just try to kiss me like this. Madam, I'm not trying to kiss you. I am trying to demonstrate how to apply CPR in the case of an emergency. Well, okay, but no French kissing. As I was saying, we blow air through the mouth in this manner. Once this is done, we must try to get the heart going again. To do this, we place our hands over the person's chest and press down firmly two or three times. 
Wait, what are you doing? You can't just kiss me then go for second base. Excuse me, could you tell me where you have got that music book? Certainly. Let me see. Oh, it's on that shelf. It's too high. I can't reach it. Could you help me? Of course. Here you are. Thank you very much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.